Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. And for those who are new, welcome. We hope you enjoy your stay. We are bidding summer goodbye with a three-part video of our most recent U.S. Virgin Islands trip. Since it's our first flight post-pandemic, we packed a lot of patience, so we are just about prepared for the worst, but still ever hoping for the best. For American citizens, you do not need your passport to travel to the USVI because the USVI is a territory of the United States. Well, kinda. We still brought our passports since the U.S. Customs and Border Patrol's official recommendation is that travelers bring their passports to avoid delayed processing times. Continuing with mobile service members, mobile service, you're open at for Dallas. We also brought our vaccine cards and our most recent COVID test results. We set off from JFK Airport in New York to Tampa, Florida, and then to Puerto Rico, and finally St. Thomas. We arrived in Luis Munoz Marine International Airport in Puerto Rico when we were told that all flights to St. Thomas were canceled. So, after being stranded for 8 hours, we decided to book a chartered flight along with 6 other passengers. Charters, a fixed wing charter operator, one of the exclusive charter fleets headquartered in the Virgin Islands. Breeze Air Charters provided us with fast and convenient connections island to island, offering schedule reliability and minimizing wait times. <laughs> We are truly impressed with the professionalism and timely response that Breeze Air Charters offered us. Our pilot today is Mr. Chris and our co-pilot Matt. So excited to start our U.S. Virgin Islands adventure. Our first stop is the French Quarter Bistro for our super late night dinner. Thank God they're still open. Their specialty is New Orleans cuisine with a Caribbean flair. It was opened in 2018 in the heart of French Town by Ed and Amoy Forstall due to their love of all cuisine. Okay, June. We are ready to call it a night at our Verbo house in Nazareth Bay, St. Thomas. Balcony. We are officially in the USVI. 
The USVI are a gorgeous set of almost 50 Caribbean islands, and most are uninhabited. When you hear friends talk about visiting the USVI, you most often hear of the three main islands, St. Thomas, St. John, St. Croix. We were fortunate enough to visit the three main islands in this trip, starting off with St. Thomas. You'll definitely do a fair share of driving if you want to explore all the things to do in St. Thomas. And unlike on the mainland, the USVI, you drive on the left side of the road. Since our original flight to St. Thomas was canceled and we had to take a chartered flight, we lost about a day in St. Thomas, and instead, our upcoming trip to St. John was already scheduled. So please enjoy our St. John video. I'll put a link down below in the description box. After spending a full day in St. John, we are now back to St. Thomas. We decided to stop by at Moe's Fresh Market for some island fresh produce vegetables and fruits. Good night! We woke up early today to witness the sunrise in Nazareth Bay. And it was worth it. The airport and capital city, Charlotte Amelie, are centrally located on the south side of the island. Settled by the Danish in 1666, Charlotte Amelie is the capital city that was originally home to so many taverns that it was given the name Tapas or Tap House. After almost 30 years, the Danish changed the name in honor of King Christian V's wife, Charlotte Amelie. Petite Pump Room Bar and Restaurant. Located at the water's edge of the scenic Charlotte Amelie Harbor. They specialize in skillfully crafted tropical cocktails, savory local fare, and other local favorites. What a great start to our day in paradise. fish, and stewed chicken with rice, vegetables, and plantains. And for dessert, we had the most amazing homemade soursop ice cream. After a relaxing day, we are now headed to St. Croix to explore the Virgin Islands some more. Our seaplane adventures is something that we truly enjoy. Please watch our St. Croix video. Links are in the description box down below. In the late 1600s, USVI were home to real-life pirates. Local governors became rich 
when they got paid off by roaming pirates in exchange for safe haven. A few notable pirates include Captain Kidd, Gene Hamlin, Steed Bonnet, Tempest Rogers, Bartholomew Sharp, and Black Sam Bellamy. coming on into the harbor every day but Friday and Saturday. Of all the three islands, St. Thomas is the most touristy. You'll find quite a few familiar stores and fast food chains that you would in the States. Come on in, this is the best restaurant <laughs> in St. Thomas. Today we are having lunch at the Stone House Bar and Restaurant while being greeted by friendly locals. Arguably the best restaurant in Charlotte Amelie, great ambience, attentive service, and incredibly delicious food. Serving quality food in a beautiful historic ambience, this is a wonderful place to hang before heading to the shops. Coconut chicken kebab and chili ginger salmon is just simply delicious. chocolate factory. has been known as a shopping destination dating all the way to 1607. With a long history of commerce, the Historic Preservation Office in St. Thomas will soon be installing a plaque received from the state of Virginia recognizing the historic visit of when the Jamestown settlers who built the first successful English settlement in North America, stopped in Charlotte Amelie to stock up on supplies. The plaque will be hung on the Liberty Bell platform in Emancipation Garden. service Virgin Island Marina for mega yachts and pleasure craft up to 200 feet in length. Well, you know, maybe someday. Tonight's dinner is at Tickles Dockside Pub, an open-air waterfront eatery offering American pub grub 
and drinks in laid-back, view-filled surrounds. Nestled in Crown Bay Marina, just a five-minute drive from the airport, Tickle's Dockside Pub offers a friendly and relaxing atmosphere. We enjoy their charred lemon Caesar salad, ahi tuna nachos, and shrimp stir-fry. with all the conveniences of restaurants, bars, parking, lifeguards, equipment rental, and fresh water showers. Their famous fried chicken is always a sold out. the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean, the U.S. Virgin Islands are the only territory in the U.S. to have coasts on both the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. When you travel to the islands, make sure to take a swim in both of these oceans. Hailed as one of the world's most beautiful, this breathtaking bay along St. Thomas's rugged north coast is ideal for swimming and snorkeling with the turtles. just love to lay down in the sand and spend all day at the beach. But if you're someone who craves for adventure, there's always something for everyone. With all that water, there's a plethora of water activities to participate in, including diving, sailing, kayaking, sport fishing, snorkeling, windsurfing, parasailing, and kiteboarding. We like to go where the locals go, so today's lunch is at Brooks Bar and Restaurant. Their salt fish and salmon did not disappoint after a day of snorkeling with the turtles. If you visit the USBI, do not expect establishments to have street addresses. USVI is just one of those places where street addresses like 123 Main Street are not used. When giving instructions, you're much more likely to see directions like the one we have with our verbal reservation, describing the location as a quiet neighborhood in Nazareth. Please call me when you get on the taxi. We decided to spend our last day in St. Thomas at the Fantasy Tropical Botanical Garden. The gardens have been under construction for over 20 years and most recently after a huge hurricane. They began as one woman's vision to create a true botanical garden 
for the residents of St. Thomas, as well as visitors from around the world. Above the Sea on St. Thomas, Fantasy Tropical Botanical Garden gives visitors a close-up view of lush foliage and colorful flowers from the Caribbean and beyond. The Fantasy Garden is about two acres in size. Bird feeders buzzing with hummingbirds and banana quits, the official bird of the U.S. Virgin Islands, plus a glimpse of lush terraces sidestepping down the hillside below the trees, draped with bromeliads and orchids, is a must-see. Fantasy's gardens are an orchestrated mix of tropical trees, flowers, palms, and other plants found in the damp forests of the Caribbean and beyond. Of course, there are both more types of flowering plants and more flowers here than you would generally find growing together in the wild. But that's what's great about gardens. is a tropical paradise waiting to be explored. We cannot wait to get a closer look.
Take a pleasant walk through a well-maintained tropical forest with a variety of options for learning a bit about what you see along the way. There are also several areas to relax and enjoy the garden, a place to slow down and relax. Thankfully, we still have time to take a mental picture of this beautiful view of our Verbo Reservation before we head on to the airport and finally say goodbye to St. Thomas. Our last stop is at Ashley's restaurant to pick up some salt fish patty as recommended by our local driver on our way to the airport. And he was right, it was delicious! We picked up some Caribbean rum to take home with us. As always, thank you for spending your precious time with us today. The links to part 2 and 3 will be in the description box down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks!